Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Brianna and if you're new here, welcome and if not, welcome back. I make YouTube videos and create content and have been doing it for the past 10 years where I talk about fashion, beauty, lifestyle, accessories, a whole bunch of things. Um, but yeah, so today is a little haul and I'm going to do another video. I'll just straighten this out. Okay. I'm going to do another video maybe about my no buy, low buy journey for 2023. But um, for now, I'm just trying to, my ears look a little big. So I'm just trying to adjust that. Um, my goodness. So, um, oh my god, my ears. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, so I'm going to do a separate video on my no buy, low buy for 2023, but the prerequisite for this haul is that I live near Long Island and there's a, uh, a mall there. It's called the Americana and it is like luxury heaven. Like they have Hermes, Chanel, Dior, Louis, Gucci, like all of the stores. Um, and I got a gift card from um, my family for um, for the Americana. So I have been saving it because I wanted a YSL wristlet. So I went yesterday with my sister. We were both gonna like, we went like with the intention of spending a lot of money um, and I go to YSL and they don't have the wristlet. And it's like not a YSL store, it's like a counter. So they don't have a lot of, um, a lot of stuff it's not like a fully stocked YSL store so the woman was like we don't really know when we're gonna get a shipment in and we don't know if the wristlets are gonna be in that shipment so like I can't really tell you if like we're ever gonna have it and my friend went like a few weeks ago I think like right after Christmas um and they didn't have the wristlets then either so I kind of was like I really, really want to spend this gift card. I've been holding on to it for like three months. So I was like, you know what? Like there are other things in this, that in this like mall that I want. So I'll find something. Um, it was kind of just like, I needed to spend the gift card, like for the sake of spending the gift card. Um, so yeah, so that's that. And then my sister was um, kind of egging me on. She was like, you don't know when they're going to get the, then the wristlet in. Like you could be waiting a year. Like there are other things that you want, like just buy it. And like, maybe like you could find the wristlet used um, online. So we went to Hermes when my sister got sandals. Um, and I was thinking about getting an Hermes bracelet because they had so many bracelets. Um, also the their Hermes and Americana the nicest people you'll ever meet like they were the nicest people in the entire mall like nicer than the people in Dior and YSL like incredibly nice so if you're looking to buy something I, and you're in like the New York City area I highly recommend the Americana Hermes like you will it's incredible so we went to Hermes, um, went to Love Shack Fancy for the first time, which was so exciting. I've never been inside a Love Shack store, so that was great. Um, went to Dior, looked at a pouch, wasn't loving it. It was like, felt really cheap, like my, and it was like a nylon material, but like less than nylon. They call it technical fabric. I did not like it. Like my Stony Clover nylon is nicer than the Dior. I wasn't impressed. And then I knew that I knew that I was going to end up at the motherland and that is Tiffany and Co. And there are two bags in here because so I got two things and I love Tiffany's and like I might do a whole video or blog post or something on Tiffany's because ever since I was a little girl like Tiffany's was always I don't know something about it like it was like magic and I know that a lot of people like rag on Tiffany's because of like the return to Tiffany's of the early 2000s and how like everybody had the heart and and all that stuff but like I just find it to be the most comforting welcoming magical place and it's just I don't know what it is I don't know if it was the like growing up 
in the early 2000s where Tiffany was like very covetable but also very like readily available or if it was like the history of Tiffany's and like the Fifth Avenue and like obviously Audrey Hepburn but I think what sold it for me was the scene in Sweet Home Alabama with Reese Witherspoon and Patrick Dempsey where he proposes to her in Tiffany's so I think that was like the seal the deal and I always got Tiffany's a lot when I was younger like for every birthday Christmas like I have a lot of Tiffany's from when I was younger um and then like I mean you could see all my Tiffany boxes and and shopping bags in my shelf up there so I've just always loved it and as I've gotten older and I could afford to buy Tiffany's myself I am always like buy I got a piece for my birthday last year I got a piece for my birthday this year um I just love it so much so I knew that there was something that I was going to be able to find there um and I just love the little the little blue bag the little blue, blue box it's perfection um and I think obviously now like when I got older and I watched Breakfast at Tiffany's for the first time it was um it was it's my comfort movie I love it so much so we have the little blue box and have the bag and they wrapped it up so nice they had exactly what I was looking for so this is the new collection from Tiffany's the new leather collection and it's the return to Tiffany's collection they have wallets card cases bags and I, obviously I would I would have loved a bag but I also don't think the bag is very practical for me um but I ended up with the card holder um I was I went with the intention of buying the card holder if they had it um and then I'll I'll get to it but this is really what I wanted this is like 220 or something around that and it's the obviously Tiffany blue with the Tiffany return to Tiffany heart and you have a card slot here card slot here the main card slot here and then two on the back I would not say that this is like very good leather I mean like it feels it's nice but it feels like slightly flimsy but I didn't even see it has like uh Tiffany and Co embossed on the inside but it's not even about that I mean like obviously like Louis everything else is a lot more expensive than two hundred dollars but it was just about like this specific piece and it's like it represents more to me I guess um and I just love it so much I cannot wait to use it they have the the colors that everything comes in is the Tiffany blue a black a pink and like um like a cherry red not even cherry red like more like a hibiscus um I think it's called hibiscus pink I'm not sure but yeah so I needed to get the blue um and they they had a like a longer wallet with like a zipper almost like a key clay um but they didn't have it in blue and I wanted the blue obviously so that's what I got with my gift card but then I had more money on the gift card and there was a bracelet that I wanted which I'll try to insert a picture here and I asked for my sister I sent my sister sister a bunch of Tiffany jewelry that I would like for my birthday and she hated this bracelet but I loved it so I kind of went with being like maybe I'll get this bracelet but it was either I got the bracelet or I got the card case and something else my sister was like get the card case and something else she's like you really want the card case like you have bracelets like you don't need another one so I was like okay fine so which I'm I'm wearing it but it obviously came with the little pouch and a box and the bag and the ribbons and everything and it is this ring so it kind of looks like a wedding band which is like fine whatever I don't care um and it is just a simple Tiffany and Co logo ring and I love it and I've wanted it forever um because I love rings this is a Tiffany ring that I got when I was like a kid um and it's just a little hard they don't make it anymore but I wear it all the time and I don't have another Tiffany ring so I just wanted two silver rings I love it so much it's so simple but like looks really pretty I love it so that was my little Tiffany and Co. haul. Um, 
and I'm just so happy. I'm so happy to have it. I love it so much. Um, yeah, and then we went to Sephora, and Sephora was where I, I mean, I didn't buy that much. Is this all I bought at Sephora? Yeah, I think it is. I'm so confused. I felt like I bought more. No. I bought my mom um, a Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. So that was that. But I went in not really needing anything, but also needing a few things. But then once I got in the store, I, I hate shopping in store. Like, I just do because I get very overwhelmed. But then also, I am more, I'm prone to, sh to buy less because I have time to think about it and it's like you, they tell you the total and it's like different than like seeing the total I don't know whatever um so I went in I wanted a face oil um I didn't get one and I think I'm just gonna like hold off or like I'll find a different one I was gonna buy the Ole Hendrickson nourishing barrier face oil but now I kind of just think I want because I want a face oil to put over my moisturizer at night so I can use my gua sha um and have it be like really slippery on my face um and I might just get the summer Fridays heavenly 16 oil something like that but whatever so I went in I needed a new hand sanitizer so I just got from Touchland then like I said I had to buy my mom um better than sex mascara I got this the velour makeup face puff from the Sephora collection because everybody is using these now and like they get them at obviously like online at Amazon but um buying face things from Amazon kind of freaks me out so I was like I'd rather just buy it from Sephora and they're setting their under eye with it but not like a loose powder. Like they're taking pressed powder and setting their under eyes. So I'm gonna try it. It's a very soft, I think it was like $8 or $5 or something ridiculous. Then this is a brand I have been wanting and I like can't get enough of it. I have nothing from it yet. Um, and I didn't need this, but this is always sold out. So I was like, forget it, I'm just gonna buy it. And it is the Gisu, Gisu, I can't pronounce, I don't know how you pronounce it um hair oil this is the travel size and it's honey infused hair oil and the thing about this is that I once had this I think and I returned it because I didn't like the scent then when I went into Sephora yesterday they had the hair perfume and I sprayed it in my hair and it smelled so good and I was like okay fine like I'm just gonna get this because I love the way it smells It's like floral, but it's like more than that. I don't know how the hair oil like itself is, but it's so pretty. The branding of this brand is incredible. The packaging, everything, like I'm up. The aesthetic is divine. So I am definitely going to be ordering the hair perfume and I'd like to try the hair mask because I do need a restock of my Way hair mask, but which I was gonna get yesterday, but um, I'm thinking like maybe I'll just, um, try a new one but yeah that's it from Sephora and yeah that's my little haul it was a very long-winded video um but I think I might like I said I'm gonna try to do um a video on my low buy no buy I'm gonna try to do a video on um maybe like my Tiffany collection I think that would be really nice um and then also do want to do maybe like a roundup of things that I've bought this month so maybe like we'll do if you don't know I on TikTok I do a what I bought last week series I've been doing it for the past year and it they do really well it's a really like fun little series that I've started but um I think I might bring that over to YouTube as well and do like once a month collective haul I think that could be fun um and then I might do a PR haul because I've gotten a lot of PR products lately and I think it could be really fun um, to to show you all that and then maybe a little giveaway because I've done blog giveaways, I've done email newsletter giveaways, maybe I'll do a YouTube giveaway. Um, I've never done one before so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.